Tutorial services is back on a crappy laptop, a squeaky chair, putting on weight, losing hair, missing his children. Oh, but man, what a nice young girlfriend. So, life's looking up. So, for Matt Parker Tutorial services, we've been away for a while and we're looking at the Edexcel GCSE computing and we're in focusing on task two. Okay, now, without any further ado, I'm going to launch into this and get it done inside of three minutes. Okay, now, for task two, you've got two core functions, okay? One generates an estimate, and one is your start menu, okay? Now, we're going to rattle through this as quickly as we can. Remember, I'm not covering testing or evaluation. I'm putting an Easter egg in there, and there's no code upload or download this time. Guys, you're going to have to follow it. You're going to have to understand it. I'm here to help you be practical. You know, we're here to help students with the coursework. Teachers with their admin and businesses get their IT systems off the ground without loads of business expenses. Now, this is to help you guys, okay? There's a lot of help in here. If you understand Python, you'll be fine. Let's look at the first function, which is to get an estimate. First thing you're going to do is enter some prompts for the user for the customer number, the date, the estimate, and how many rooms require painting. Now, that rooms to paint is going to be important. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is set your estimates complete to zero and your employee cost to zero and create an empty list. Now, when rooms to paint is equal to estimates complete, then another while loop will kick in and you'll finish off the quote. But whilst estimates complete is less than rooms to paint, this function will run. And funnily enough, it starts out while estimates complete is less than rooms to paint. It will ask the user the name of the room, the number of walls, the height and width of the room, and whether you need wallpaper. If you've said yes, it will add automatically the cost of the wallpaper for each room. It will then perform these calculations. So the surface area is the height times the width times the number of walls, and the paint cost is the surface area times 15. The cost of the room is the cost of the paint added to the cost of the wallpaper. At that point, you append it to the room cost, that empty list that we started at the beginning. And we put our increment counter up by one. Okay, so our estimates complete goes up by one. When estimate completes is equal to rooms to paint, which is our second while loop, and whilst employee cost is zero, and that's important because you only pay for the decorator once, you then, okay, select whether you want an apprentice or a fully qualified painter using an if statement. When you've selected that, you append the employee cost. Then, once you've done that, you're ready to print out the total. Now, the total is the sum of that empty list converted into a string and added onto that statement there, the print statement. To work out the VAT, you simply do 1.2 times that previous sum, again, convert it into a string. And finally, you return back to start. Now, if you've got this far, you really should know how to do a start function. But nonetheless, because I'm feeling kind, here it is. You've got an if statement which basically asks you, would you like a, would you like an estimate? If yes, it's going to run the function. If no, it's going to thank you for using your system. Now, there's plenty of things you can do. I've distilled this code down as much as I can to make it easy. Okay, don't forget this is there to help you code, not to replace your thinking cells. Anyway. That's the close of it. Matt Packer tutorial, tutorial Services, there to help businesses get their IT systems off the ground, there to help students with the coursework, and there to save teachers from their boring admin. Thank you very much. Goodbye.